Hey everyone, I'm Ruby and welcome back to the official Maybelline YouTube channel. Now, can we just take some time to appreciate this backdrop in all its greatness? I mean, isn't this like hashtag goals? Am I right? So in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to achieve this polished foundation free makeup look and I'll be showing you what concealers work best for different skin concerns like if you've got blemishes that you need to hide, dark under eye circles, if you'd like to highlight and contour, I'm going to be showing you all of this today and if you'd like to see how I achieve this look then please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Maybelline YouTube channel for more videos with me and some of your favorite influencers and let's get on with the tutorial. As you can see I have quite a few imperfections. I've got dark circles, quite a few spots to conceal as well, so I'm not having a really good skin day, which is great for this tutorial, by the way. So the first step is primer. If you've got an oily skin type, this is a must for you. The one that I'm using is the Maybelline Superstay Makeup Extending Primer. Not only does this primer help with your makeup's longevity, it also creates a smooth base. All right, finally, time to conceal those unwanted guests on my face. So this is essentially the second step in creating a flawless, polished base makeup look without foundation. I'm using one of my favorite concealers. This is the Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer in the shade number three, light to medium. This is a full coverage, absolutely flawless concealer with a lightweight feel. The best way to apply this concealer, especially if you wanna create that really nice skin look, is to use your fingers. And keep in mind to only use this product on your problem areas, like this giant pimple that I have. So the best way to cover this large unwanted friend is to use a small amount of concealer over the area and then just use your fingers to pat out the edges so it blends seamlessly into your skin. If you have the sniffles just like I do, you can also use a tiny amount of concealer around your nose to conceal the redness. Does this concealer even need an introduction? This is definitely one of my favorite under eye concealers. It's the Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. To create a lifted, bright under eye look, I like to start from the inner corner of my eyes and create an inverted triangle close to the sides of my nose and also onto my cheeks. You wanna concentrate this product close to the inner corner of your eyes where you have that bluey purplish tinge and then drag it downwards to create that really nice lifted effect. I'm also taking a small amount of this concealer and working this around my lips. If you're like me and you have a slight skin discoloration around this area, this will really help to brighten the skin and to also clean up the edges of your lipstick. All right, let's bring back that definition to our faces. I'm now taking the darkest shade of the Master Conceal Camouflage Concealer and I'm using this to contour. This is such a beautiful flattering shade for lighter skin tones. It's a very neutral color. It isn't orange, it isn't too warm, but you can still use it to warm up the back of your face, giving you a healthy color, but at the same time, you can create that definition, that sculpted cheek and chin look. I mean, how good is makeup for this stuff, right? Since we used a cream product as our contour, it's really important that you opt for a synthetic brush when blending this out. I'm now taking a smaller synthetic brush. This one you use on the eyes, but I am using this one to create a very precise nose contour. Now I'm taking a little bit of that dark concealer shade and just working that on the sides of my nose. And this is how it looks after. Make sure you set everything in place using a powder. The one that I'm using is the Shine Free Oil Controlling Loose Powder. And this is the finished look. And that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed my video today with Maybelline. If you did enjoy this video, then please hit that thumbs up button down below. Be sure to subscribe to the Maybelline channel to stay up to date with future uploads. And I look forward to seeing you all in our next video together. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah.